this house was built somewhere around 1700 by the Fox family. Um, the Fox family is one of the founding families of, of Concord, which is the first inland town in the United States, which makes this house one of the oldest houses in the United States. This is a standard English colonial house, which means that it has a central fireplace and it has two large rooms on either side of the fireplace. One would be the warming room with a cruder, rough fireplace that was very large for coming in out of the cold or the winter. And the other was a more formal entertaining room with a more carefully designed uh, fireplace and uh, more details put into the, the layout of the room. When houses like this were built, they used post and beam construction, which is different from how houses are built today with stud framing. And so what that means is that the house is put together with some very large timbers that hold up the structure and the frame of the house, resting in the central on the chimney and then radiating outwards. The advantage of this is that the house has a relatively open floor plan and an open feeling that is now popular in new modern houses but was difficult to achieve a long time ago. One of the cool things about the post beam construction is that if you look at it closely, there are actually no nails or other hardware holding it together. It's just literally pieces of timber lying together with little posts that hold the pieces of wood together. And yet, after 300 years, it's still standing solidly. This house has four fireplaces, uh, three on the first floor, one on the second floor. It also has a brick oven. This was, of course, the primary ways to heat the house a long time ago. And even more currently, it's a great way to entertain and keep people warm. Brick oven is also a nice additional feature to this. You know, we can cook pizzas in there and other great stuff. So if you're into cooking or enjoy that, this is a great thing to have. The floors in this house are king pine floors. Now, in that time period when the house was built, these were considered illegal because the trees in this area were so large, larger than anything else in the world, and they were supposed to be reserved for building the masts for very large ships. But on occasion, people would take them, cut them down, and use them for the floors in their house. These trees no longer exist anywhere in the world except for some places like New Zealand. So even if you're Bill Gates, you can't get floors like this anymore. Many of these boards are nearly 24 inches wide, and even flooring experts who have looked at these floors say they're the largest and some of the most beautiful floors they've ever seen in their life. We've tried to keep the house updated to modern standards. Well, it's an old house, we've employed a European model in terms of updating the house, and that is respect the old and move forward. The house is in many ways a greenhouse. We have passive solar design. We've installed radiant flooring to preserve the architecture of the house with spray foam installation underneath. We've used low VOC floor finishes, low VOC paints. We've included energy efficient appliances and lighting. We have also on-demand water heater. So the house is actually very low energy usage while maintaining the original integrity of the house and allowing us to move forward. Concord is the home of the TV show, This Old House, that started what is today now the home renovation trend for do-it-yourself people. And many of the contractors in the area we've actually employed to do work on the house and use their expertise because of the special nature of this house. We wanted everything to be done perfectly and into the highest quality standards. While this home is listed as a condo, that's more of a technicality. The Homeowners Association is a great thing to be a part of. One of the big benefits is that the landscaping and snow clearance is part of the property. It also allows us to get discounted rates on things like insurance and contractors when the property is maintained. One of them, and probably one of the biggest, honestly, is the story that it tells. I love to entertain. I have a lot of people come over to the house, and no matter where they are in the house, there's always a story to be told. There's so much detail in the house, history in the house. You know, and I also love the idea of we have the detached, you know, above the garage apartment where, you know, it's great for in-laws or great for guests to stay. Um, you know, if you have family that's coming to town or we had no pair stay there, it's an excellent spot. I love living in Concord. There's so much to do in this area. You know, we get the benefits of being close to the city of Boston, yet it feels like we're much more comfortable and remote than we actually are. There's great history in the authors. The school systems are great. I love being close to the Great Meadows National Park and the wildlife there. I also love being close to the Minuteman Trail. And the house is fairly close to the town center. These old houses were designed to be close to town centers and there are sidewalks taking you all the way to the center of town, which on occasion will do for fun. And it's a great place to walk the dogs. 
What I love about the home the most is that it's a historic home. It has great bones, solid integrity, it stood the test of time, and it's updated and modern and low maintenance and easy living.